Well, it's cutting edge crime fighting technology that claims to pinpoint the exact location of gunfire and they call it shot spotter. And Montgomery is one of about 20 cities nationwide using it right now a year later after it's been put into place. The question is, is it working and at what cost? WSFA 12 News anchor Mark Bullock is live inside the City Communications Center with the investigation. Mark, this sounds pretty impressive so far. Yeah, Bob, and to watch it in action, it's like something out of a science fiction movie. We asked, and in the last 12 hours, there have been no incidents of gunfire, but two incidents of firecrackers in the capital city. And all that data comes through on this computer. This is the Shot Spotter computer. It allows 911 operators to see where and when shots happen, even listen to what the shots sound like. In certain areas of Montgomery, gunshots are recorded. And immediately, 911 operators dispatch officers to the exact location. So far. The software is called Shot Spotter. When a gunfire or explosive incident occurs, the Shot Spotter Gunshot Location System, or GLS, detects, classifies, and pinpoints the location within seconds. This is video from the manufacturer. Montgomery installed the system a little over a year ago. It was awful. Since then, Tina Coppridge has noticed a difference. When she first moved into this neighborhood, she says shootings happened all the time. And now? We don't hear any more shooting like we used to hear a lot. It used to be a lot. This is one of the most vital pieces of proactive type policing tools that uh, that any police department can have. Captain Otis Perkins sees the data every day. He says before Shot Spotter, there were reports of up to 250 gunshots a month in the covered area. Today, that figure has dropped by 50%. We have it low, we want to keep it low, and we want to even drive it lower. And that's why the city wants to expand the Shot Spotter system, but it won't come cheap. To cover just one square mile, it takes more than a dozen sensors, or about $200,000. But police say it's worth it. It knows how to distinguish between gunshots, firecrackers. It also helps officers establish new patrol routes and can even serve as evidence in court. In a recent murder case in Los Angeles, California, shot spotter data confirmed the testimony of a witness who was no longer available, proving without a reasonable doubt that there were two gunmen involved in the shooting. The verdict, both men were convicted. Murder in the first degree. Many call it the future of law enforcement, allowing for faster response times and faster prosecutions, which in turn is causing would-be criminals to think twice. Because if they start shooting, they know they'll be right on here, so I don't think they can get away as fast as they've been getting away. <laughs> Now, the proposed expansion hasn't been approved yet. Uh, the funding hasn't been located, but everyone I talk to agrees. All the 911 operators here say it works. They have stories about officers arriving on a shooting scene so quickly that they are able to take the shooter into custody right then. Bob? Pretty remarkable stuff. Thanks, Mark. Police won't tell us where the shot spotter is located or how much area it covers. Now, Birmingham is the only other city in Alabama that uses shot spotter. To read more about its effectiveness and to see more demonstration videos, just go to our website, WSFA.com.